Welcome back from Bricks and Sticks. This is a pretty good video this time. It's me and my dad. We went out squirrel hunting. We got some squirrels and uh, <laughs> it's a pretty good video. But viewer discretion, it is a very, I guess you could say graphic part of the video. It's a full clean from about 3 minutes and 2 seconds to about 5 minutes and 26, 5 minutes, 30 seconds, somewhere around there. I would skip if you guys are very squeamish and can't handle like blood and skinning and stuff, but it's a very good video. I hope you guys enjoy. Hey y'all, welcome back to Bricks and Sticks. It's me, Devin, here today. It's uh, early January. It's about 44 degrees outside. The sun's high up. Got the full wear on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I'm with my dad today. Heading out to the deer woods. We're going to try to get some squirrels, see if we can't do a little catch clean cook for y'all. So, uh, we'll talk to you guys when we get out there. Hey y'all, so we're in the woods here. It's a pretty nice spot. Here's my dad. He's, today we're using kind of like a retro type. He's using a Henry chambered in 22. He's got his camera up there and I'm using an old double barrel 410. I think it's called the El Fazan. Yeah. So, made in Spain. Made in Spain. So we're going to see if we can get some squirrels. Try to get some video of them. So, see what happens. All right, so we've been up here about 30 minutes. We haven't seen any squirrels. <laughs> but the frustration is we've already seen like four or five deer. I sat up here on three different days during rifle season and didn't see a single deer. But we saw lots of squirrels. We're out here squirrel hunting. No squirrels, but lots of deer. You know how it is. Devin over there. Anyway, we're going to stick with it, and we'll get back with you. What? I think I got him. I think I got him. Huh? Yeah. 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 Hey. Devin just got himself a squirrel. Did you hit him? Yeah. Is he dead? Hold him up. Pull him to you a little bit. Trees in the way. There he is. A little 410 El Fazan 410 shotgun. That's a nice one. Well, that's the first one of the day. We're going to hunt tomorrow, too. But there's a big old nest right up there. Anyway. Hey y'all, back at the house here. This is one of the squirrels we got today. As you can see, we got a couple of these off today. We're gonna show you how to skin them. It's not as hard as you think it is. You just find the joint right here. You just kind of just take it, just kind of cut. Cut it off. To me, it's easier to flip it over. There's a wrist right here. We cut back here on the joints. In front of here, there's a wrist. Kind of you just grab it, cut it like that, real simple. And the tail, you flip it on its back. For me, put it up tight right here and just kind of. Cut it off, and then the head right here. You kind of just find behind the ears. Kind of just got to. It might be a little tough. You gotta get a sharp knife for it. And you cut off. Discard them all. And right back here is my way of doing it. You grab it back. Take your knife. Make a cut big enough to stick your fingers in. Try to get your fingers up in there. And then you just pull a shirt and his pants off. Kind of like you do a rabbit, huh? Just like you do a rabbit. It's a little bit easier on a rabbit, though. Do it through the sink. <laughs> pull it. There, there we, we go. go. 
I know you're watching, laughing at me because I'm struggling. It's not nice. <laughs> Alright. Shot this one with a 410. I'll bring a video to y'all of the gear we use when we're doing this. There's a pellet right there. Yep, sure enough. Why is this so difficult for me? This is obviously telling me I need to go to the gym more. Usually, guys, the skin pulls right yeah. off, but let him get this all off now that you know what we're doing, and we'll get back with you. All right, guys, it's day two. All right, we're back in the kitchen. In the pan, I've got butter and olive oil. I love it. So I'm just going to put it on medium heat, let it warm up while we get this. First of all, what we did is we quartered it, as you guys seen, and we soaked it in zesty Italian dressing, which is one of our favorites to marinate stuff in. And we put it in a little bit of red wine vinegar to help break down the proteins in the, in the meat, because squirrel is typically just a bit of chewy, um, tough kind of meat. But what we're going to do is we're going to pat it dry. Just pat it dry, get it, you know, helps the uh, seasoning stick on it. Now, all we're going to put in this is a little bit of salt on each one. Some pepper. And one of our favorite seasonings, Everglades Fish and Chicken. Now you don't want to do a lot because you added the salt already. So just get that on there. Alright, and I'm only going to do one side because we got. It's a meteor side. So we're only doing one side of the meteor side because there's no point in really putting seasoning on bones. So what you're going to do is you're going to take these meaty side down, drop them in there. So you don't want to you don't want to cook them fast because then they won't be done all the way until you take them out and they'll be charred and burnt. You don't want that because that's just Gross, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. But we're going to get back to you when we get this done. You know how to do it. We're going to flip it a couple times and call it good. Alright guys, it's been about 3 or 4 or 5 minutes. Like that. You see the blood that's on the top? You just want to flip it. Nice. Okay. Alright, we'll fine. Alright, we'll fine. Good morning. It all got to be good, guys. Yeah. Now you cook it. So it took about a few more minutes, maybe four minutes, and uh, we'll give it a try. We'll be right back. Alright, y'all. So we just cut it into a piece, see how it was done. So you just look at that. Holy crap, man. So we're going to take it off on this plate over here. And uh, we're going to let it cool. And uh, we'll go back to the taste test. It smells good. It smells amazing. You can smell that vinegar almost. I can't get it on the fork. You can smell that vinegar coming through it. No, if you, the had some, if you had made some rice, you put a little bit of flour and it drippings right here. Maybe gravy out Make yourself some gravy out of that, pour over rice, and you'd be talking some good stuff. Just look at that. Both sides, man. Both sides of color. But all right. Like I said, we'll get back to you with tape test in a minute. All right, y'all know here it is. I'm just going to cut off a piece. Try it out. So good, guys. It's one of my favorites we've done so far. That vinegar really breaks on those proteins and makes it pretty tender. I'm just camera really let you try it out. Alright, let's see. That is really good. It's not near as tough as I thought it was going to be either. <coughs> anyway, guys. Listen, thanks for joining the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, try this recipe. It's really simple, really easy. And it's a lot of fun going out, taking your family and friends, and go shoot a couple squirrels. Not a hard time. So, 
If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Leave some comments. Try this for yourself. Let us know what you think about it. And from bricks to sticks, to your family, keep it tight. We out.